Today we are gonna be working to connect the DeckLink Duo 2 to ProPresenter 7 uh, for alpha channel keying. The first thing we'd like to do is look at um, the couple of different options you have for a chassis. One is the OWC Helios, which is the one I have here. Another that I really like is uh, the StarTech PCIe enclosure. They're basically the same enclosures. Um, the OWC here sits kind of flat. Um, the StarTech basically just sits up in that orientation. Um, but they both accomplish the same objective and both are relatively inexpensive. So before we get started, uh, a couple things that you'll need to have. One is gonna be either some tape um, or you could use like a label maker to mark the reference input on your SDI connectors here on the back. That reference input is gonna allow you uh, just to be able to know the proper order. So you'll know which one is SDI one, two, three, and four for your connectors here on the back. Um, that will allow you to know how to connect those to your ATEM switcher um, and how to set them up in Blackmagic's desktop video setup. That's the other program you'll need to have downloaded to your computer. Um, it is free. You go to blackmagicdesign.com forward slash support um, and click on capture devices and you can download that desktop video for PC or for Mac. Um, now what we'll do is we're gonna jump in and actually take the DeckLink card out of this uh, OWC Helios chassis, uh, chassis that we have it in. Um, be careful when you're taking these out with both the StarTech and the uh, OWC. Um, once you unscrew them, they will basically push out of the front. So it's not like you unscrew them and they just come out of the back. They actually will pull out of the front. So if you're holding them upright and you unscrew them, you can drop the card uh, out of the front of the cabinet here. So just be careful of that. Set them on a flat surface when you do it. It slides right out. You'll notice the black magic card, uh, the DeckLink Duo, is right inside here. And for the DeckLink Duo, each one of the inputs is going to have right above it a little black circuit board. That's how you can identify uh, the SDI inputs versus the reference, which is over here on the far side, and it will not have a black circuit board right above it. So we know for the Helios, uh, on my left, on camera right, this uh, SDI connector um, is the reference input. So I've got it marked. I've actually just used the label maker to mark that reference. And then that allows me to know that um, this is SDI 1, this is SDI 3, SDI 2, and SDI 4. I'll go over that again because these are not uh, in order and linear like you would think. This is SDI 1, SDI 3, SDI 2, and SDI 4. What we're going to do today is work with SDI 1 and 3 as a paired connection, uh, which will then connect to our ATEM switcher, um, which will set up for ProPresenter 7 as an alpha channel input with two layers. The next step to this is to uh, connect this to your ATEM switcher. So since we're working with one and three, I'm gonna go ahead and connect SDI um, cables to these and then run them to my ATEM switcher. Now remember on your ATEM switcher, these will go in as inputs. So if you have any of the television studio series like the television studio HD, um, the television studio HD Pro or HD, uh, or excuse me, television studio Pro 4K, these will go in as inputs, both of these connectors. Make sure not to connect them to an output. Um, if you're using any of the production studio series switchers, you have all inputs anyway. So again, just connect these to two inputs um, on your ATEM switcher. The next step is going to be looking at the desktop video setup. So we'll go and look at that now. All right, so now what we are going to do is open up our desktop video software. I'm simply going to go into my finder here and click on Applications. And then I have that software installed, the Blackmagic Desktop Video. Open up the Desktop Video Setup application. And then you'll notice it's, uh, I have the DeckLink Duo plugged into this computer via Thunderbolt. Um, so it recognizes the, the card. So I can now set it up. I have two different views. Uh, I've got standard view and then all input view, where it shows me each of my SDI connector inputs. 
Uh, this is where I like to do it and set it up so I can see all four. Um, we're going to be setting up uh, Decklink Duo 1 SDI and Decklink Duo 3 SDI. So what I'm going to do is come over here on 1 and click on it. I'm going to set, up, set it up for the uh, resolution and frame rate of my switcher. Now remember, you want to match this to whatever your ATEM switcher resolution and frame rate is. Mine happens to be at 1080p 2398. So I'm going to set that now for the video output. And then at the top tab here, I'm going to click on connectors. And you'll notice how it says SDI 1 and 2. This is where most people get confused, but don't worry about it. Um, this SDI 1 and 2 is your video channels. That represents the connectors 1 and 3 on your actual um, Decklink Duo device. So you don't think too much of that. Remember, we've already got our SDI cables connected where they need to be connected, so you're good there. Uh, we've got video output set for 1080p 2398. Connectors are paired, and I'm going to hit save. And then I'm just going to come down to Decklink Duo uh, 3, because remember, we're pairing 1 and 3 just like we did on our hardware device. Um, I'm going to click on it and just set it to 1080p 2398. And also make sure when I go to connectors here that it says none. That means I can't split those connectors apart, but rather I'm using them together as a pair for alpha channel. Once you've done that, you're all set. So the steps we've done so far um, are to actually take our Decklink Duo, connect our SDI uh, cables to the ATEM switcher to two inputs, um, and then come into the desktop video setup and set our uh, one and three channels so that the resolution and frame rate matches that of our switcher. Now that we have done that, um, I can come over into my ATEM Television Studio software. And then what I'm going to do, in ATEM Switcher software, forgive me. I say Television Studio because that's the type of switcher I'm working on, but just the ATEM software. Uh, I'm going to come into my palettes and find my downstream key. And then I took my SDI connectors and plugged them into my ATEM. Remember we had two different channels um, or two different SDI connectors. So those inputs are the ones you're going to want to pick for your fill and key source. I just happen to have them on six. So input six on my switcher and input seven on my switcher. That's where my two SDI cables are connected. So I'm going to pick those for my fill and key source. If for some reason when you cut on your downstream key, you get a white image rather than the actual uh, alpha key you're trying to get out of Pro Presenter, you can come back in and just flip-flop these, switch them. It just means you have your um, key and fill source switched. And the easiest way to do that to me is just to come right into your fill and key source and switch them in your ATEM software rather than moving cables around and getting confused. So I've got those set up now for camera seven and six. Um, so effectively what I have is my Decklink Duo with two SDI cables connected to my ATEM switcher. Um, so now it is set up as a downstream key. Now the final step I need to take is actually go into ProPresenter um, and connect the ProPresenter output, basically create the screen configuration for it and connect it to um, my ATEM Television Studio. So it's it's basically sending out to the Decklink Duo and then to my switcher for Alpha Channel. So what I'm going to do now is just open ProPresenter 7. All right, now that I've got that open, I'm not going to do my updates right now. I'm going to come up to Screens, Configure Screens, and then I'm going to add my one more audience screen. And I'm going to use this audience screen is going to be done through my Decklink Duo. So if I scroll down here, I'm going to pick Decklink Duo 1. That is the only thing I have to pick because remember, we already have Dec, uh, the Decklink channels paired. So the SDI 1 and 3 are paired in this Decklink Duo 1 connection. So the only thing I have to do is pick Decklink Duo 1. Go down and pick my appropriate frame rate and uh, resolution, which for me was 1080p 2398. Again, for you, match whatever your switcher 
um, resolution and frame rate are. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that. All right, it's recognized and got my input in. It's got my resolution set. You want output target to full. Then the only other thing you'll need to do is go from uh, hardware, this tab, over to alpha key. And since the DeckLink Duo is an alpha key uh, enabled device, ProPresenter automatically recognizes it and you just have to enable it. External key is the type you want and blend it 100%. Uh, once you've done that, you are connected. So you'll be able to output alpha channel uh, to your ATEM switcher through your DeckLink Duo from ProPresenter. The other thing I usually like to do is, is come over here in that uh, screen configuration that I just made. And I like to rename that um, online lower third. It just makes it easier for me because typically what I'm using this for is to uh, push uh, lyrics, uh, worship lyrics, to my ATEM switcher for my online audience. And you can name that appropriately for whatever you know, you know, task you're trying to accomplish. Um, just make sure you have that audience screen cut on. And then you're good to go. You've got it set up. The only other thing that you'll want to do now uh, is to set up your look. So for me, I want to set up a look to where it's going to take any text, remove uh, any background media layer and basically push the text to the bottom third of the screen. So I'm going to close out of my screen configurations and go into uh, screens, edit looks. And you'll notice I actually have some set up here already. Um, so this is uh, the online lower third that we just created, our screen configuration that we just made. And then what we want to do is right here in our uh, where it says presentation just to the right, this is where you can assign a look. So for this one, I'm gonna do, uh, let's see, lyric styles, go to lines, and then go to um, edit. All right, and what this is gonna do then is open up an edit screen I'm going to just minimize that. I've got uh, my everything basically now is centered. So what I'm going to do is just take that and drag it to the bottom third. If I wanted these lines, then I would drag them down too. For now, I'm just going to actually delete those. I'm not going to use lines in this. I'm just going to have text. So I'm going to delete both of those. All right, so now that is all set for a lower third look. Make sure we have it selected. We had lines, and there's the white text vertical lines is the one I just edited. So I'm going to pick that. Notice how it populates here. You'll see it went from um, uh, basically marked through to a uh, selection icon. So now that will basically take... Uh, any media graphic or any graphic that I have for in-house. So let's just say uh, for in-house I have, uh, let me go back to my show here. I've got this file um, where I've got a background and text overlaid. So maybe I want that for my center screen, but then for my online audience, I want them to be able to see the video behind it. So my alpha channel, if I come over here, the one I just set up was online lower third. And, oh, I didn't check off my media layer. So let's come back into our screens, edit looks, and remove that media layer there. I'm just gonna check that off. And that gets me to where I have, to my online audience, just that lower third text. And then once I cut my uh, cameras on and have video coming through, then this black area behind will just be filled with video. Um, if I had two lines of text on this slide, it would give me two lines on my lower third because that's the way I have it set up. I'm going to go back to that and just show you again. So we'll go edit looks. We're going to select our look that we have, which was lines. You see how it's got the check there. I'm going to go white text, uh, vertical lines. I'm going to scroll down to edit at the bottom. And you'll be able to see how I actually have two lines there. It's a two line lower third. That's the way most people want to do lyrics. 
Um, so anytime a slide has one line of text, it'll put one down there. But for normal lyrics, uh, for songs where you're going to have two lines, then it'll, it'll appropriately push down two at the same time. It'll push down up to two lines. All right, that is pretty well it for uh, sending lower third alpha channel out of ProPresenter through a Decklink Duo to your ATEM switcher. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to shoot us an email. Thank you for your time.